Volume of cement, sand, aggregate and water in concrete. When we are tasked with any construction project, calculating the volume of concrete is a crucial aspect of planning. The concrete mix we are considering today is the M20 grade concrete, which is commonly used in residential and small commercial buildings. This type of concrete consists of a mix ratio of 1 to 1.5 to 3. Let's break down the process step by step to make accurate calculations, ensuring that we have the correct amount of materials for our concrete mix. Understanding M20 grade concrete. Before we dive into the calculations, let's clarify what M20 concrete represents. According to the IS 456 2000 standard, M20 concrete refers to a mixture of cement, sand, fine aggregates, and coarse aggregates in the ratio of 1 to 1.53. This means 1 part cement, 1 5 part sand, 3 parts aggregates. This grade of concrete has a compressive strength of 20 newtons per square millimeter, 20 megapascals, after 28 days of curing which is suitable for moderate structural applications. Step one, calculating the dry volume of concrete. One of the essential first steps in determining how much material you need is calculating the dry volume of the concrete. This is because the actual volume of required dry material is always higher than the wet volume due to the air gaps between the particles of cement, sand, and aggregates. To adjust for this, we multiply the wet volume by a factor of 1.54 to account for the bulking of sand and wastage. Dry volume equals wet volume times 1.54. For one cubic meter, the dry volume is calculated as dry volume equals 1 multiply 1.54 equals 1.54 cubic meters. Step 2. Estimating the quantity of cement, sand and aggregate. Now that we know the dry volume, we need to calculate the quantity of cement, sand, and aggregate required based on the 1 to 1.5 to 3 ratio. Cement calculation. The cement part in the ratio is 1. Therefore, the volume of cement needed is cement volume equals 1 divided by 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 times 1.54. Cement volume equals 1 divided by 5.5 times 1.54 equals 0.28 cubic meters. To convert cubic meters to bags of cement, use the conversion factor. 1 cubic meter equals 440 kilogram of cement. One bag of cement weighs 50 kilograms. So, cement in bags, 0.28 times 440 divided by 50 equals 8 bags approximately. Sand fine aggregate calculation. The sand part in the ratio is 1.5. Therefore, the volume of sand needed is Sand volume equals 1.5 over 5.5 times 1.54. Sand volume equals 0.42 cubic meters. One cubic meter equals 1600 kilograms of sand. 0 0.42 times 1600 equals 672 kilograms. Weight of one cubic foot sand equals 43.30 kilograms. 672 divided by 43.30 approximately 16 cubic feet. Coarse aggregate calculation. The aggregate part in the ratio is 3, therefore, the volume of coarse aggregate needed is aggregate volume equals 3 divided by 5.5 times 1.54 aggregate volume equal 0.84 cubic meters. 1 cubic meter equals 1800 kilograms of aggregate. 0 0.84 times 1800 equals 512 kilograms. Weight of 1 cubic foot aggregate equals 68.15 kilograms. 1512 divided by 68.15, approximately 22 cubic feet. Step three, calculating the amount of water. The water cement ratio is a crucial factor affecting the concrete strength and workability. For M20 grade concrete, a typical water cement ratio is around 0.5. Using this ratio, we calculate the amount of water needed for the mix. Water volume equals cement volume times water cement ratio. Water volume equals 0.28 times 0.5 equals 0.14 cubic meters. To convert this to liters since one cubic meter equals 1,000 liters, we get water volume equals 0.14 times 1,000 equals 140 liters. Step 4. Summary of material requirements. For one cubic meter of M20 grade concrete, the material quantities required are cement, 8 bags approximately, sand, 0.42 cubic meters, coarse aggregates, 0 0.84 cubic meters, water, 140 liters. These quantities ensure a proper mix ratio of 1 to 1.5 to 3, 
suitable for M20 grade concrete, and provide adequate strength for moderate structural applications. Additional considerations for concrete mix calculations. Wastage. It's advisable to account for a small percentage of wastage, typically around 2% to 5%, depending on the project and site conditions. Transportation and workability. While calculating, ensure that the concrete is mixed efficiently, whether on-site or in a batching plant, to maintain workability without compromising strength. Testing. After mixing the concrete, always test its slump and strength to verify that it meets the design requirements. Curing. After pouring, ensure that the concrete is properly cured for at least 28 days to achieve the desired strength. 